Hello everyone, and welcome to Figure Review. On this episode, I finish out my look at Elite 19 with the show-off himself, Dolph Ziggler. Now I say this figure because I believe it's uh, the best out of the set, aside from Lesnar. Because he comes with uh, the figure, it's sick, and the accessories are sick. Let's take a look. Uh, he comes with, first of all, besides a great new smile and head scan... And uh, something that's really awesome about this head scan is that uh, although they didn't really paint it, if you look very closely, he has a uh, stubble on his uh, cheeks and uh, chin. That's really awesome considering they weren't going to paint it. Uh, I just think that's a sick level of detail nobody's ever done. Uh, any sort of facial hair has always been done as paint. So that's really awesome. Um, his hooded vest has the show off logo on the back there. Uh, supposed to be simulated fur. Obviously, they're not going to go out and give us simulated fur at this point. Uh, back in the day, we got a John Morrison with a fur jacket, and I believe we were lucky to get that. I uh, really wish Mattel had picked up the WWE license in the Attitude Era, because that's when all the toy companies and everybody really had money, and they would have gave us some very sick uh, accessories. But uh, after the fuzzy jacket here... We have, of course, Dolph's, one of Dolph's signatures in this day, is the Ass Cape. Uh, it's got the Not Showing Off logo there. Uh, this was done in plastic too, but I kind of understand that, because you want it easy on, easy off sort of thing. Especially if you're going to display, you don't want to get get an awful of dust and curl in and all that. But, still a very awesome accessory, I like it. And then, of course, we have the man himself. Dolph Ziggler. Uh, as I said, an awesome skin. I really think this body style suits him well. Um, maybe the arms are a little big for Zigzag, but, you know, he's a pretty muscular dude, so I let it slide. Uh, of course, he's got the awesome silver and pink attire, which I think is very, you know what I mean, uh, very fitting for Dolph. Uh, I always like when they do the figures in his bright attire outfits, because I think it just kind of sets him out, you know, Lots of guys, it's a little better these, uh, these days, but lots of guys go out there in the all-black attire, and they all start looking the same after a while. So, uh, for anybody, any WWE superstars out there, you know, I mean, try to pick some colors and run with it. Um, of course, uh, Dolph Ziggler, one of the few guys who actually do wear the giant knee pads, so I really don't want to hear any bitching on Dolph Ziggler. He wears big-ass knee pads, okay? Some people do actually wear these. <laughs> Uh, and, of course, they always do a great job on Dolph's boots. Uh, it seems that they've finally given him his own boot mold instead of just uh, biting Batista's boot mold, so that's definitely cool. I love the way they look. Definitely harkens back to the badass Billy Gunn boots that I saw so often and, and you know, back in the day. And overall, it's just a great representation of Dolph Ziggler. Definitely a guy on the rise. He'll definitely most likely be the world champion again by the year's end, and uh, I'm really enjoying his run as a good guy, you know what I mean, he, he may be uh, everybody's favorite hashtag heel, but he's still one of the best in the business today, and deserves all the adulation he gets. So, there you have it folks, Elite 19, Dolph Ziggler. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more episodes. C on Coming up, we have uh, reviews of Elite 20, and a few episodes of Customs and Fix-Ups. Thanks for watching, guys.